All right, guys, what's up, YouTube? I am back. This is Chris Denver Gamer here, and we are going to hack the Wii today. I've been talking about this for a while, starting this series, and I think it's about time that we did. Today, I'm going to show you how to do it easy, simple, um, to the point. We're just going to go through some uh, basic steps here and show you how it's done. For this task, you will need your trusty Wii, Wiimote, and all accessories. A 2 gigabyte it's SD card. I prefer the Wii brand that was actually made for the Nintendo Wii. Uh, you will use this to install the homebrew channel itself, as well as a bigger SD card to hold all your game files and emulators. I prefer the SanDisk Ultra Plus, 32 gigabyte, only 1250 on Amazon shipped, as well as an SD card reader if you don't have one in your laptop or PC. So you can see right here, I have a basic Wii I picked up for about 10 bucks from uh, Goodwill. It's got those basic channels still on it, the Wii Shop channel, News channel, Forecast channel, uh, Photo channel. I did already clean this up, and I'll show you where to go to do that. It's right here in the Wii menu, Wii options I guess you'd say. Go to Data Management, and then go over to Channels. And right here, it will list all the extra channels that you have if you get a Wii with just a bunch of junk on it. But you can see right there, we have plenty of blocks open. So let's go ahead and head into the Wii settings. Load, load, load. All right, we're in here. This is your options area. You can see right there, that's format Wii system memory. That memory. That's another way to reset the console and get rid of all the junk on it when you get one and you want to redo it. And up here in the right hand corner, you need to make sure your version is 4.3 U for USA, or it might be E for Europe and so on, but we're doing a USA one today. Um, parental controls, you're gonna wanna make sure that those are off, but that's pretty easy to bypass. I'll do that in another video. Check your Wii Connect 24, make sure that's off. Here it's showing that it's not even uh, enabled, but uh, you don't want the console automatically updating because it will erase the homebrew channel. Check your date, make sure the date is uh, current, and as well as your time, make sure the time is also accurate. So once you've got all your ducks in a row, go ahead and head over to the internet button. And in here, you're going to hit console information. Go ahead and write this address down. This is the address of your console and you will need it to hack the Wii. Now we're going to jump over to our computer. So go ahead and plug in your 2 gigabyte SD card and open a browser window. I use Google Chrome and we're going to go over to please.hackme.com. Enter in your system menu version. For us it will be 4.3U for USA and your address. You are going to want to keep that box checked for the Hack Me installer and then simply select that you are not a robot. And you can cut either one of these wires, they both get the same thing done. I always click red for some reason. And you can unzip your file. I am using 7-zip here, but you can also use WinRAR or WinZip. Uh, you only need two of these files here to make everything happen, but for the sake of this video, we're going to go ahead and select all of them. They're just uh, readme files and instructions, but uh, good info in there. And we're going to extract those to our G drive from on my computer, which is my SD card I have plugged in. So you can see as I exit out of here, I will bring up my SD card. And show you that all the files are now on there and we are ready to hack the Wii. So let's go ahead and eject this card and head back over to the Wii. Okay guys, so on a side note here, I can't stand these forced Wii channels that you have to keep on your Wii here. I mean, there are ways to remove them, but it really can uh, risk you bricking your Wii, which means freezing up your Wii. So I like to take these and move them all here to the back. So give me just a second to do that. 
Now we have freed up all that space on our first page. Go ahead and insert your two gigabyte SD card and head down to the envelope here in the lower right hand corner. And you're gonna move back and forth until you see a red envelope pop up. Usually it takes once, click on that. Boom, your Wii is being hacked. This screen is pretty self-explanatory. The developers put this here. They don't want their uh, software being uh, sold. So uh, they want it to be free. And this takes a while. Um, you're gonna eventually press one and you'll be able to go to the next part. But this takes about a solid 30 seconds, I believe. But you know, on the flip side of that, when I didn't know how to do this stuff, I was willing to pay for a Wii or an Xbox because um, I didn't know how to how to hack a Wii. So some people just want to pay the money and get the uh, get the hacked Wii. So anyway, press one to continue, and here you're gonna see that you can install the Homebrew Channel and boot me as an iOS. Go ahead and select continue, and go up to install Homebrew Channel. Hit yes to continue. Next, we will install Boot Me. So continue, go down to Boot Me, install Boot Me as an iOS. And before you continue, you will want to put in your 32 gigabyte or whatever size it is SD card uh, because it's going to write the files uh, that you will need to back up your Wii onto that. Uh, larger SD card for the future if your Wii ever crashes. So yes to continue and yes to continue again. And boot me is a success. Go ahead and return to the main menu and exit. Congratulations guys, you now have the homebrew channel. You can hit the home button here, check out uh, the different options. You have launch boot me, we'll get to that in the next video. Uh, you can go back of course, about, we'll give you the credits, uh, kind of show you more about the developers. Then you have exit to system menu or you can just shut down your console from here. But this is the gateway to all the emulation you've been looking for. It will now appear on your home page here. And when you click on it, you're going to be able to hear some like pretty cool music. Uh, it's just it's just awesome. This is the work these guys put in is just incredible, and uh, I'm so happy you found us. Enjoy all the childhood games uh, I miss, and um, it's just fantastic. So thanks to all those that came before me to do this hard work so I could enjoy it myself and now share it with you guys. Thanks for watching, guys. Next video. We are going to be talking about Boot Me and Preloader and getting those set up. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe.